Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 12 of the Adobe XD tutorial series. So what you may want to do at times is that you may want to create some of the basic icons from scratch itself. So you got the basic tool located right here. What you can do is you can create sets of icons, map pins, mails and like add buttons right here in XD quite easily and you don't need to go into applications like Photoshop or Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a set of icons that I'm going to use in my next tutorial uh, project. So I'm going to turn on the grid just like this. And this is uh, this is it. All right. So I'm going to use, uh, let's say, 16, um, so 16 pixel size grid. And let me just zoom in like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a rectangular tool to create a placeholder for the grid. Uh, I'm going to do that just like this. All right. Let's say I, I want to have a four by four, a four pixel grid just like this or six by six would be more like it and I'm gonna pull this in just like this to create an iPhone like icon uh, right there all right so now first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an uh, add icon for that I'm going to select this uh, line tool right here just click and drag from this section and click and drag and you can see that I got the uh, add plus icon right there and I can increase the size of these uh, icons just like this so I'm going to increase this out so the border size is one right now I'm just gonna do 10 and you can see that the plus icon actually appears just like this so this is my first icon and now I'm going to just copy and paste this out copy and paste this and it copies uh, and pastes uh, right it on place I can also alternatively uh, hold alt on my keyboard and drag it so it will create a duplicate of that shape right there I'm just going to duplicate this out as well so I'm going to create around four icons all right so over here what I'm going to do click and drag all right there you go okay now over here I'm going to create a mail icon and for that I'm going to just drag in um, a shape right here all right so just drag in a shape just like this a letter like shape and I want I may want to resize this so I'm, I want to increase the grid size over here to be more precise so uh, over here uh, on my artboard tool what I'm going to do is going to select the artboard right here, select the artboard, all right, and then go for eight, uh, eight pixel grid, just like this. All right, so let me just zoom out a bit, this dragon, all right, so I got an eight, eight pixel bit. So I'm going to resize this shape right here, uh, one grid down, just like this, to create a mail-like icon, and I'm going to drag uh, this line right here or use the pen tool. So just click from this place, click it here, and click right there and I got my mail icon right there so you can see that I can easily create this as well so I'm going to increase the uh, border size of this to around five let's see so that is too much uh, as you can see so just gonna do two and kind of drag this down a bit all right so drag this this shape right here uh, this one the shape inside a bit down so that it actually stays in place just like this so just resize this a bit just like this just resize this and resize this as well all right there you go so that's the mail icon that I want uh, that I'm going to use so I can increase the border size let me make this five all right so that seems more like it and the one inside let me just do three pixels so just make it a bit more uh, standing out all right and over here I'm going to create a shirts icon for that just, just grab a circle just like this uh, just grab uh, a circle over here from uh, this section just like this all right and then I'm going to drag a line over here so that I have my proper search icon all right there you go so to see make it seem more prominent I'm going to uh, increase the size of this circle right here all right so this seems more like it and I'm going to fill this up um, I'm going to re resize the shape of this icon right here so it stays right on place and now I'm going to increase its border size so let me do something like 12 uh, 12 is just too much so let's just do 5 and there you go all right so now another one uh, I'm going to create a map pin uh, that is quite used well so for that I'm going to just drag in a circle just like this let's drag it on to the center over here all right there you go and over here I'm going to grab in the pen tool and then over here just gonna double click it and pull this pin just like this over here so that's my map pin just uh, drag this in a bit and there you go that's my map pin right there all right so for this uh, I can also just click my uh, just drag in over here hold shift so that I got my map pin 
And over here uh, inside, inside the map pin, I also need to draw in a circle because usually in the map, uh, there's a hole inside. All right, there you go. So that's the map pin icon that I'm going to use. All right, and it's there. All right. Now, in order to make this as a shape, I'm going to fill all of these with colors. So I'm going to fill all of these with colors. Let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to use blue or something like this. All right. So uh, now I'm going to fill this up with a color, uh, not just the border color, but the colors inside. So I'm going to fill this up with, let's say, red. And this one will be uh, my white icon, just like this. And I'm going to remove the border right here. In order to remove it, just uh, say border will be zero and the border is out. All right. So I'm going to use a pretty red color for this one. Okay. So that's like an emergency sign right there. For this one, I'm going to use a green color. All right. And I'm going to use the fill color uh, for green color. Let me do something like this and no border. So just uncheck this as well and border will be gone. And over here, I can use something else for the mail icon. So let me do something like a white or something like a gray. All right, that seems more better. And for this one, let me choose another color, something like uh, for something like yellow would do it. All right, so yellow would do it. And over here, you can see that this is this has a fill color, so I'm not going to add in any fill color for this. And over here, I'm going to add no borders. All right, so that's my icon right there for the eyeglass. And over here, finally, in this section, I'm going to choose uh, my blue icon um, or orange icon. And over here, I do not want this to actually seem. So I want to have a hole here. So I'm going to select the shapes and then subtract it out so that it creates a hole in between. And now I'm going to reduce the border and over here, uh, uh, take out the border as well. So you, you can see that I have my icons ready. So let me just uh, put this up a bit. So let me just grab this up just like this. All right. And there you go. That's the icon. And I want to group all of these shapes so that they move all together. So I'm going to right click uh, and then group this shape right here. Group this one as well. Then group these ones together and then group these ones together as well. So group these all together. And now I'm going to set it all in symbol. Click here, set it in symbol, set this one in symbol, and finally set this one in symbol. So there you go. We have created some basic icons like search, uh, map pin, and mail uh, ID inside of Adobe XD without the use of any external softwares. So this is how you can easily create icons inside of Adobe XD. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.